Hello all and welcome once again to my YouTube channel Engineering Physics by Sanju. This is a third MCQ session on quantum physics and in this session we will discuss some questions on wave function. If you like this session please subscribe the channel and share with your friends. So let's start with the question number 1. A wave function in a quantum physics is a mathematical description of and the options are the quantum state, the phase, the velocity and the time. The wave function mathematically describes a quantum state. A quantum state does not give exact position or momentum of the particle but it can give the probability of finding the particle in some region and range of momentum. So here the answer is quantum state. The wave function in quantum physics is a mathematical description of the quantum state. Question number 2. Psi represents the wave as a function of and the options here are momentum and time, position and time, velocity and time, none of the above. The wave function psi actually mathematically describes the motion of the wave associated with the particle. It is not possible to locate the particle precisely at a point x, y, z. But this wave function psi can give us probability of finding the particle at a given point x, y, z at given time instance t. So this wave function psi is a function of space and time coordinates. Question number 3. Which of the following is not a physical requirement for a wave function to be valid? Options are single valued, continuous, time dependent and time independent. A wave function must be finite, single valued and continuous everywhere. So this is the requirement of the wave function. And wave function is a function of space and time coordinates. So this wave function depends on time also. So, which is not a physical requirement of wave function? Time independent. So, wave function is not time independent. Let us move on to the next question. Question number 4. Psi star psi gives the probability of and the options are particle attaining velocity of light, finding the particle at given point at given time instance, particle is at rest, velocity of the particle at given point at given time instance. So which one is the correct option? We know the wave function psi mathematically describes the motion of the particle. It is not possible to locate the particle precisely at a given point x, y, z. This wave function can be used to find the probability of finding the particle at a given point x, y, z at time instance t. The probability of finding the particle at given point at given time instance is given by psi star psi. Here this psi star is a complex conjugate of psi. That means if psi of x t is equal to a of x t plus i b of x t then its complex conjugate can be written as psi star x t equal to a of x t minus i b of x t. So psi star psi gives us the probability of finding the particle at given point at given time instance. So here b is the correct option. Next question. If psi is normalized wave function then the value of integral from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star psi dx dy dz will be and the options are 0 infinity 1 negative. So what is the correct option? We know this psi star psi can be used to find probability of finding the particle around a point x y z at given time instance t. Now if the particle exists 
द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग द पार्टिकल समवेयर इन स्पेस मच बी यूनिटी बिकॉज पार्टिकल एग्जिस्ट एंड देर फॉर प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग द पार्टिकल फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी मस्ट बी इक्वल टू वन दिस कंडीशन इज कॉल्ड एज द नॉर्मलाइजेशन कंडीशन एंड वेव फंक्शन इज नॉर्मलाइज वेव फंक्शन मस्ट बी नॉर्मलाइज दिस मीन्स दैट इट सेटिस्फाइज दिस नॉर्मलाइजेशन कंडीशन देर फॉर द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज वन इफ साई इज नॉर्मलाइज वेव फंक्शन देन द वैल्यू ऑफ इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी साई स्टार साई डी एक्स डी वाई डी जेड विल बी वन Let us move on to the next question. Question number six: The acceptable wave function for a particle must be normalizable because the options are the particle's charge is conserved. Option B is the particle cannot be at two places at the same time. Option C is the particle must be somewhere, and option D is particle's charge is non-conserved. so which one is the correct option we have seen if the particle exists that means probability of finding the particle somewhere in the space must be unity so if you integrate psi star psi over mi minus infinity to plus infinity then it should result in one this condition is called as normalization condition and the wave function must satisfy this condition so the acceptable wave function for a particle must be normalizable that means it should evaluate the probability to be equal to 1 which will indicate the particle must exist somewhere particle must be somewhere so here c is the correct option for this question next one question number 7 how is the information extracted from a wave function how is the information extracted from a wave function options are expectation value operators differential partial differential so which one is the correct option once the schrodinger equation has been solved for a particle the resulting wave function contains all the information about the particle this information can be extracted from the wave function by calculating its expectation value for example let us consider the particle's position now we cannot calculate the particle's position precisely what we can measure is the positions of all particles in the same state psi and then find expectation value of x which is the average of all these measurements it can be given by expectation value of x can be given by integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star x psi dx so how is the information extracted from a wave function with the help of expectation value question number 8 which one of the following can be a wave function the options are tan x sin x cot x and sec x a wave function must satisfy the following conditions it must be continuous it must be single valued and finite everywhere now out of these four functions only sin x satisfy all these conditions sin x is continuous single valued and finite everywhere and therefore the answer to this question is sin x let us move on to the next one question number 9 four wave functions are given below so they are depicted in the form of this graphs which one of them is acceptable wave function which one of these four graphs can be a acceptable wave function so again we know a wave function must be finite single valued and continuous everywhere so let us see which of these graphs satisfy all these three conditions 
this graph A is not continuous, there is a discontinuity. Then graph B is also discontinuous. Graph C is not single valued everywhere. And uh, graph D, it is finite, single valued and continuous everywhere. So here the answer is D. Question number 10. Which of the following is not a characteristics of wave function? Continuous, single valued, differentiable or physically significant? Which one of this is not a characteristics of a wave function? In earlier questions, we have already seen that a wave function must be continuous, single valued everywhere. Its derivatives also should be continuous and single valued everywhere. So it should be dis differentiable also. The wave function itself does not have any physical significance. It merely helps us in determining the state of the particle. Square of the wave function can be used to determine the probability of finding the particle at a given point at given time instance. So it is the square of the wave function that has got the physical significance. So here which one of the following is not a characteristics of wave function physically significant. This is the correct answer here. So that was the last question in MCQ session on wave functions in quantum physics. In the next MCQ session we will discuss some MCQ questions on Schrodinger's equation. Hope you must have liked this session. So if you like this session then please subscribe the channel and don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you.